Hello everyone, this is Mark here with Mark's Max Muscle, and it has just came to my attention that one Flex James Lewis will be throwing his name in the hat of Mr. Olympia competitors this year at the 2020 event. Wow, this is going to be exciting, and this is actually going to be quite huge, quite huge indeed. I thought, along with a lot of other people, that he really did not need a special invite, which is the case. He got a special invite from the IFBB to compete in the Open class. I mean, being a seven-time 212 Olympia champion, I thought for sure that he should be granted an easy way into the Open class, for sure. But I guess he needed a special invite. And when you think about it, Hattie Schupin, he actually qualified for the 2019. He defeated Nathan Diasha, if you'll recall. So, wow. What is this going to mean for the lineup? I think this is he's going to do a lot of damage, much like Hattie Schupin. Hattie Schupin. A lot of people said he won the 2019 Olympia event. And Flex Lewis defeated Hattie Schupin in an event. I mean, there's a lot of pictures out there showing Hattie Schupin look a lot better than Flex Lewis. But you have to take into consideration the back developments. Flex Lewis is just out of sight. He has the calves, which excites me greatly. A champion with a good set of calves. It's been a while. It's been a while. But anyway, he is not going to be the old Flex Lewis. Think about it. He has had an entire year off to, to wind down and then to bulk up. He's never been able to, to just work out to the unlimited proportions like he is now. He can just go to, to max size. He can just not worry about the 212 weight limit. Oh my goodness. He is going to be awesome for sure. And I think he could win it. That would be the story of the year, would it not? When was the last time a competitor won the Mr. Olympia? his very first entry into the Olympia event. I think Larry Scott, was he the only one? I think so. So there you have it. It would be it would be unbelievable records. They're not meant to be uh, broke, but he would bend them. He, of course, was in the Olympia, but 212. So a lot of people would say, well, it's not his first Olympia. But really, it would be his first Olympia open class. And if he won, that would be unreal. Story of the year, bodybuilding would boom, boom for sure, and worldwide. The man is from the UK, Dorian Yates, a lot of roots. I mean, Reg Park is from the UK. There's a lot of the great ones, the great ones for sure. Flex James Lewis, another one of those great ones. It excites me greatly. So that is that story. And for respect out of Kurt Douglas, I thought I should throw a little little extra into this video and report that he did die. He died yesterday at 103 years of age, Kurt Douglas. Now, this is an actor I know and usually only report bodybuilders and wrestlers, things of that nature. But I, one of the first memories I have is watching this man. And it, when I was a kid, I thought Spartacus was jacked. Don't get, don't get me wrong. I mean, there was a lot of natural guys out on, on TV flexing, things of that nature, so you didn't see a whole lot of big, juiced-up monkeys. But Kurt Douglas, he was a rugged man for his time. Don't kid yourself. And the man lived so long, and he was a just an icon. And I figured that I should uh, throw a little extra in here and wish him to rest in peace. I have to watch a couple of those movies tonight, of, co of course. Spartacus, one of my favorite of all time. I mean, when those, those his slaves or the, the slaves protected him at the end, remember, they wanted to know who Spartacus was. And they all stood up, claimed that they were Spartacus. Well, I can't believe his men would do that for him. Anyway, rest in peace, Kurt Douglas. Flex Lewis, good luck at this year's Olympia. It's going to be a good one for sure. All right, guys, that's it for today's video. Hope you enjoyed it. Hit a thumbs up if you did. Subscribe if you haven't already. Have a great day.